if uh-huh. someone flirts with my husband, I'm like, good for you. Right. you still I'm got so it. happy you still got it. <laughs> right. At the, I think in the first episode, she said the two of you are 100% best friends. By the end of this, still 100% best friends. No. No. <laughs> Now, by the end of this, by the end of this, we are not best friends, not best friends. but stay tuned to find out. Stay tuned to find out. Were you, was that surprising to you that this, that this friendship shifted so much? Yes. That was a yeah. big surprise to okay. me. It was a huge surprise. Yeah. Did it have to do with the flirting? No. No. It had absolutely nothing to do with the flirting. It came out of nowhere. Okay. It was something completely different that you just, you know, it's good. Is she just not the person that you thought that she was? necessarily not the person she's a fun girl she's mm-hmm. a lot of fun um, as you can see she has this huge bubbly personality um, she's great for going out with but let's just say she can't hold a secret oh, interesting <laughs> very very interesting I spoke to Erin and she said that you know the flirting that Bryn flirted with her husband at a party and that was a big you know obviously a red flag for her. Were you there and did you witness that and were you surprised by that too? Well, I think that Bryn also has a lot of jokes. Mm -hmm. You know, she communicates through humor. So sometimes her jokes don't always necessarily land. Mm -hmm. I knew where she was coming from in that moment. She was just telling a joke or demonstrating some sort of, you know, funny behavior. It just didn't land particularly at that moment. Mm -hmm. So, right. Erin says when, when she and her husband go out that they have a flirting agreement. Do you and your husband have the same? I don't know anything about a flirting agreement. <laughs> but you know what? If uh-huh. someone flirts with my husband, I'm like, good for you. you still I'm got so it. happy you still got it. <laughs> right. Thumbs up. Yes, you still got it. But then I like to break it up. You know, if I'm like across the way and I see like a girl mm-hmm. flirting with him, I was like, look at that. Look at my husband go. <laughs> and then I like to come in and be like, by the way, he's not available. Right, he is taken. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's good for the soul. It's like a little bit of a sport, you know? (laughs) You don't die just because you get married. It's true. It's a bit of an ego boost. Right, it. it is.